EV battery technology is the result of years of research and development, and in my opinion, offers the marketplace the world's greatest battery management system. Welcome to NAI 500 CEO interview series, where we interview the top CEOs of the most exciting stocks on the market today. Today, we are interviewing Bryson Goodwin, CEO of Extreme Vehicle Battery Technologies Corp, ticker symbol ACDC on the CSE. A couple of highlights before we begin, EV Battery Tech supplies energy storage system technologies for the growing clean energy market. ACDC stock is benefiting from a global push towards clean energy that is leading to a greater demand for ESS systems. The company has also been very active throughout Q4 2020 and Q1 2021 with significant partnerships and developments that have driven the stock price from $0.05 cents to $0.50 cents at the time of this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel to help us get more cutting-edge stock coverage to the market. Hi, Bryson. How's it going? Oh, it's going very well. Thank you. Yeah, so ACDC saw some major growth in early February, growing from $0.20 cents in January all the way to $0.60 cents on the 10th. Why did the market react so positively to your story in February? Well, I think what you have to consider is that investors look at a company, they consider an investment, and then they start doing their research on the company and its peers. When you consider EV battery technologies, what you're really looking at is a peer base that is significantly higher and demonstrates a clear undervalued stock opportunity for investors. When we recently announced our distribution agreement and our distributor, uh, I think that many shareholders realized that things were moving a lot faster than they had initially thought and um, made the decision to invest at that time. Can you maintain this momentum? Can your technology compete with the Teslas and the BYDs in this market? What you have to consider with, with ACDC is, is that our technology is literally one of the top technologies in the marketplace right now. I would hazard a guess, and, and I firmly believe that our battery management system is the best one in the market right now. It's fully scalable, offers AI integration, real-time monitoring, remote maintenance, and will deliver a product offering superior to everybody else's. So yeah, I think that going forward, our momentum will, will most likely pick up and uh, carry forward into the near future. So we know that your product lines range from household usage all the way up to utility scale uh, municipal usage. The utility scale ESS projects are interesting in that there are major capital projects that typically involve the multiple levels of government from municipal all the way to federal government agencies. What will signing one of these projects do for your company? So when you say capital markets, you're talking about the, the Titan series and the Titan series is designed for utility scale uh, power requirements. It's a custom made system. And what you have to consider with these systems is you're talking about a $100 million commitment per order or more. In order to develop these systems, we work in tandem with the engineers on, on a citywide scale or on a power development scale to install systems that meet their requirements. And in, in our case, meet smart grid integration requirements as well. But what does that mean for your business model, signing one of these, uh, one of these projects uh, to your company? The ESS market combined, and I'm talking about Home and, and the Titan series, is a $540 billion marketplace. If we're selling units into the Titan series and proving our concept and de delivering these units on, on 100 million plus sales cycles, we're, we're capturing about 1% to 5% of that marketplace in the course of, call it a year. One to five percent of a five hundred and forty billion dollar marketplace gives us a valuation in excess of billions of dollars. Uh, you know, you can you can do the math and do the consideration. And this is where shareholders, in their research and in their consideration of our peers, are realizing that the upside potential in this industry that is severely underserviced. Tesla recently came out and said they can't meet the demand. There there is no way for them to meet the demand. We've looked at the numbers and we realized that with us and them and the other competition in the marketplace, nobody can meet the demand today. And they certainly can't meet the demand of tomorrow as this business, this industry is forecast to increase by, in some cases, 40 times, sorry, and in some cases, 10 times. So with, with the demand the way it is, a sale into the ESS marketplace on the Titan side, scale of things takes us from 
where we are today and puts us into the multi-billion dollar company bracket immediately. You also press released on uh, the February 8th, another partnership, this time with the number one maker of light electric vehicles in Canada, Daymac International. Investors were obviously very happy to see this announcement, looking at your stock prices. But what does this actually mean for sales? Well, investors clearly clued into the fact that Daymac is, is the number one distributor of electric bikes in Canada and is a distributor across North America and into Europe. What we see in this partnership is an opportunity to supply all the batteries and the BMS systems that they need for today's developments and tomorrow's developments. They have big plans going forward on their development side. It also gives us an opportunity to have a distributorship with retail store locations for people to go in and view our products, specifically the Ionox Smart Wall series. And we recently announced the RV battery or the RV ESS solution. And when that's sellable, currently we're not taking pre-orders, but we will, we will have an opportunity to demonstrate that product in, in these distributorships as well. So it's really a two-pronged approach. They have retail locations that we have access to, but more importantly, they have a distribution network with established communication with suppliers and sellers. And we can, we can funnel our products through their distribution network and deliver in a timely fashion. For context for our international viewers, including our viewers out of China, where can people buy Daymac products? Daymac is represented across, they have multiple retail locations, but more importantly, they have distribution and sales agreements with, with major retails. Uh, the top three that, that I would, I would uh, have people reference is Costco, Best Buy, Walmart. Uh, and they sell products, significant product, number of products through those retail outlets. Great. So thank you, Bryson, for this uh, quick update on what's happening with your company in the Q1 of uh, 2021. I'm sure a lot of investors are very happy to, to see your progress. And uh, with any i500 covering you, we should keep this uh, conversation going. Well, thank you very much. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And thank you. If you enjoy our video, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel so you can stay alert of our future content.